This video is narrated from a dog's perspective. Text reads, 1863, A Harper's Ferry Thanksgiving. A dog outside a brick building. I've been seeing a lot of strange things around this place for the past few years. Guards every few feet, ladies chatting with soldiers from far away, and people all over this town on edge. The dog walks through a door and sees a Union soldier chatting with two women, then a table of food. This is a marvelous sight, isn't it? A ball for Thanksgiving. Too bad it has to take place during a war. You may not believe it, but this country is at war, and this town is caught in the middle. Tonight these people are happy, but it's not always like this. Two people dance? Let's go back a few hours and you'll see what I mean. Union soldiers in a line. You may report for guard duty. The officer's ball tonight promptly at 5.30. Break ranks, march. The dog watches the soldiers march away. Two women walk down a sidewalk past two soldiers. Looks like some people are looking more forward to the ball than the rest of us. Oh, don't be like that. You don't know what this night has in store for you. Hold. Show your passes. The women take cards from their pockets and show the soldier. The soldier looks them over and hands them back. Proceed. The women walk into a shop. One of these fine boys in the blue may just can't catch your fancy. I think that's very unlikely, dearest. Not every girl in town wants to find what you have. A fiancé in the Union Army. Don't be fooled. These men are our jailers, not our friends. Why must you be that way? Remember, the president had declared this for the time of Thanksgiving. Some Thanksgiving. I'll just be happy when our brothers and fathers return home and we won't have the Union stopping us every 20 feet. Happy will be the day when these men no longer occupy our town of Harpers Ferry. A shopkeeper. Good day, ladies. How may I help you today? I need some items for the ball tonight. Some fabric and some gloves. Fabric I have. What, what colors do you need today? A man appears. Good day, Charles. What brings you here today? I've come to find Rose. Oh, dearest brother, thank you for doing my chores today. So I could prepare for this evening's ball. Would you mind taking this fabric home for me? Not at all. Hello, Lily. Nice to see you. Hello, Charles. It's a shame I'm not a soldier at the ball tonight. I would ask you to save me a place on your dance card. Pish posh, Charles. You're too young to be in the army. And if you were, you wouldn't be stationed here. Now we're going along with the fabric. Remember, you're taking us to the ball with your wagon. Inside a Union Army building, one soldier approaches another and salutes. Lieutenant James, I have a message for you from Captain Pratt. Thank you, Private. Make sure enough men are at the ball tonight to guard. No citizens are allowed in unless they are ladies of invitations. See my response. Yes, sir. That's all. Thank you. He salutes. The dog walks in and a soldier pets her. How you doing, girl? Good? Of course you are. He feeds her a treat. Well, I'm off to check the food for this evening's ball. Be good. The soldier stands and exits. At the ball, couples talk and laugh. Outside the building. Look at all those fancy dandies in there, having their fun. It's not fair. It's ironic, isn't it? Here you have a Thanksgiving ball, and not much to be thankful for. The dog watches people dance through a window. And now there's this ball going on. Well, at least these people look happy. For now. A woman taps the shoulder of a man looking in through the window. What are you doing? Oh, what? Huh? I'm, I'm just listening to music. I see. Is it nice inside? Yes. Lovely, I suppose. The music sounds lovely. If I was in there, I'd be dancing to every song. Oh, miss. Would you care for a dance? Indeed. They dance on the porch. I guess there is really something to be thankful for. A human mouth appears on the dog. Oh well, here we are again. That's right, it's me. Just an old dog in a small town. Colorful text on a black background reads, Director, Aaron McGowan. Screenwriters, Caitlin Higdon, Crystal Lang. Storyboard artist, Samantha Hoffman. Videographers, Brian Borer, Jenna Warmers. 
Film editors Tasha Clark, Zachary Glorfield, Jacob Wenner, Sebastian Worcester. Film slash music editors Kayla Loveless, Oster Perinus. Costumers Morgan Bowles, Kayla Brown. Actors Emily Austin, Cody Ballinger, Brianna Bowles, Jasmine Burdine, Kristen Davis, Angel Diaz, Zachary Glorfield, John Hardy, Samantha Hoffman, Brandon Kerner, Crystal Lang, Carly Myers, Tristan Shiflett, Tessa Wolf. Special actor Charlotte Perks, The Dog. Special thanks to Mrs. O'Connor for music, Mrs. Perks for Charlotte, Mrs. Robeson for music. Credits continue for several more seconds.